Start up Dr. Racket. Hit Control D so that you can use it all as interactions, and you'll require some image tools. Define SERP0 as a green triangle 15 pixels across. Now, every time you encounter SERP0, it produces a green triangle. Something more subtle is the function SERP that takes a single number named D. If D is actually 0, this produces SERP 0, our familiar green triangle. Otherwise, well, there's a bit more code. It's going to place SERP replacing D by D minus 1 above two copies of SERP of d minus 1. Let's build up what this means from small cases. SERP of 0 means we replace all of the d's in the definition by zeros. That means that the test succeeds and we produce SERP 0, that green triangle. SERP of 1 means replace all of the d's in the definition by 1's. Well, 1 isn't 0, so we're executing this bottom part, which places SERP of 0 above two copies of itself. So that'll be a triangle above two triangles. SERP of 2. Replace all of the d's by 2's. And 2 is not 0, so we go to the lower part. And this says place one copy of SERP of 2 minus 1, or SERP 1, above two copies of SERP 1. Well, SERP 1 looks like that. So we must be placing a copy of that above two copies of itself, side by side. There's what that looks like. SERP of 3. Look at the definition. Replace all of the d's by 3's. So 3's not 0. It means that we do the latter thing. And that'll be SERP of 3 minus 1, or SERP of 2, above two copies of SERP of 2. That's what SERP of 2 looks like. So we're placing that SERP of 2 above two copies of itself, side by side. That's SERP of 3. If you're already beginning to think recursively, you can imagine what SERP of 4 looks like. There it is.